We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings and welcome to another broadcast brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I am happy to be with you once again. Jesus Christ is Lord and He is good. He is a good God. And God is stronger than even the most powerful demon out there. And he is able to defeat any force of evil that comes against you. If God be for us, who can be against us? My dear friend, I want to speak to you about something that is so important for every born-again believer. So don't skip this message. I encourage you to listen to it to the end and it will bless you. It may not be what you want to hear at this moment, but it is a key to great promotion. It is a key to great promotion and it has been tried and tested and proven to be true. I want to speak to you about humility. The title of my message is Humility is the Key to Great Promotion. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are in your own words, Welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come and speak to us today and teach us and lead us into all truth. Reveal all truth to us and lead us closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, it is a bold statement to make, my dear friend, by saying humility is the key to great promotion. And I want to give you a few reasons why. And these are first carnal reasons. And then we'll go into the spiritual. And we'll read from the Bible. But here's five reasons why humility is the key to great promotion. If you're a believer and you want to do great things in your lifetime, then learning to be humble should be the foundation to those great things that you do. It will also open the door to great promotion and to leaving a great impact in this realm. Humility helps you to learn. Those who are prideful think that they know it all. So they are not willing to take advice and they are not willing to learn. This is one reason why humility is a key to great promotion. Another reason is humility opens people up to you. People are more welcoming and more open to receiving someone who is humble than someone who thinks too much of themselves. Someone who is puffed up and that thinks they're better than everyone else. Humility opens people up to you. The third reason is humility opens the avenue for God to bless you. And now we're getting spiritual. Because humility will bring you to a place where you recognize who you are with sober judgment and you realize how much you need God and it positions you so perfectly to surrender to God. The fourth reason is humility is the key to being able to surrender to God and learn from Him just as I said before in the previous reason. And the fifth reason why humility is the key to great promotion is humility opens you up to being able to learn from God. When people struggle with too much feeling of self-importance or pride, they struggle to learn from God. They struggle to also accept what God is saying to them 
they struggle to also surrender completely to God. Because God will test you sometimes. And only those who are humble pass the tests. Because sometimes God will tell you to do something that your pride may hold you back from doing. Maybe he will tell you, serve and clean the church. Don't hire someone to clean it for you. Clean it yourself. Or maybe in your community, God may give you a prompting. Step forward and pick up the litter. Set an example. But those who are prideful, who think too highly of themselves will think I'm too good for this, I can't do this. Now, what is humility? The definition of humility is having the quality of a modest or low view of one's importance. And we see this in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 3. It defines it properly and spiritually. It says, For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, according to the measure of grace that God has assigned. That there defines spiritual humility. I'll read it to you once again. For by grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith God has assigned. Now, what does the Bible say about those who are humble? I want to show you two great promises for those who walk in humility. The first one is in the book of James chapter 4 from verse 10. It says, Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will exalt you. I'll read that to you once again, because it doesn't need explanation. It explains itself. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will exalt you. The next scripture I want to share with you is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 23 from verse 11 to verse 12. It says, The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. And now, this is where my first point comes in. Sometimes God will test you, and pride or too much of a high feeling of self-importance could prevent you from passing those tests. Because God may tell you to serve, and serving requires humility because serving is not about you it is about the person you are serving it is an act through humility to bless someone else now it goes on and says whoever exalts himself will be humbled and whoever humbles himself will be exalted so there is exaltation through humbling yourself. There is going up and promotion in life through reducing the view of self-importance that you have concerning yourself. And that statement is one that genuine born-again believers will understand. It's one that many who don't really understand the Bible will struggle to get their head around. But I'll say it again, and I'll rephrase it. Having a lower view of yourself, or a view where you don't ascribe so much importance to yourself, is a key to exaltation. 
because it puts you in the right place to receive everything that you need to receive your promotion. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray for you in line with this word. That as you humble yourself before God, He will exalt you. And the exaltation that comes from God is good. It comes with the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you for this word. We thank you for your word, the Bible. Your word that is tried and tested. Over the centuries and found to be true. Your word that is a solid rock and a solid foundation. We thank you for your grace and your mercy towards our lives, and that by your grace we can make it far. We choose to trust and believe in you in all that we do, knowing that you will make a way where there seems to be no way. And you are making a way in my dear friend's life even right now. I give you praise and I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, now as we begin to pray, I encourage you, comment and agree, connect in faith, believe and receive. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. As my dear friend humbles themselves before you, bless my dear friend mightily. Let my dear friend leave a mighty impact in the place that you've placed them, in the community you've placed them. And let my dear friend make much progress. Give my dear friend the grace to move leaps and bounds and to do great things. Even as my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, humble themselves before you. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, one of the things that scares me so much is we see the views of the world polluting the minds of many believers. And it shouldn't be so. It should be the other way around. We should influence the world and not the world influence us. And one thing that I've noticed that is straight from the pit of hell is a mindset that says, I'm too important. I'm too important to do anything low and anything that's below my level. A mindset that says, I'm too special to do this or that, or I'm too special to listen to God. I once dealt with the case and prayed for someone who was desperately looking for a job. And a job came. But the thing that hindered her from getting that job was she was too prideful to work in that position. She thought herself so important. She would rather hunger and starve and lose a house and lose everything then work and put food and money on the table and pay her bills and little did she know that may have been the root through which God blessed her through that lowly position she could have learned so much and gained so much potential to a point where she became the CEO which is why it is so important for us to adopt a mentality of humility. God bless you and God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. In Jesus' name. Until next time, Shalom. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.